Hi, my name is Abdulhamid Dramani. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bansi TV, for more EMT short videos. Today, I'd like us to discuss about how to operate the portable ventilator in this particular ambulance. Now, let's look at the parts. So, it comes with a small oxygen cylinder, and then it has the cylinder regulator over here, and then a port where you connect the oxygen to then this is the power button this is the patient mode regulator we have a CPR button for CPR mode we have alarm on and off button over here then we have a max image and then a laryngoscope this basically tells us that if the patient is intubated then you switch it to the laryngoscope image if the patient is not intubated then basically you have to maintain it at the max mode now beneath this patient mode knob or regulator comes with color codings and numbers indication to each color coding with the yellow color coding is for a new unit the light brownish in color which starts from 150 to 300 is for pediatrics and then adults start from 300 to 950 which is deep brown in color then after that we have what we call a demand flow the demand flow basically works on patient de uh, demand so let's basically look at how it operates so we on it open oxygen then it says open oxygen cylinder so we open it this side adjust settings, adjust settings. And connect patients. so let's start with new units so the flow will be lesser let's start with this uh, so that's it Let's go with adults. Realize that the pressure will be higher in adults than Check in pedis. In pedis, it will be higher than in units. Now, for demand flow, you quickly have to shift it demand to this side. Now, it will work basically on patient. It will work basically on patient demand. So let me demonstrate on it. So on demand flow. So as and when the patient demand for oxygen, then the device will detect and provide the oxygen to it. Now, if patient is intubated, then you are supposed to switch it to the, the laryngoscope image. So you just click on it, take off the demand flow, and then ventilation pressure limit it works on an intubated patient. If patient is not intubated, then ventilation you take it to the max. Now, let's look how to work it in the ambulance so in the ambulance then you have Check to fix it at this spot so we'll off it and then we'll work it with the cylinder in the ambulance so Demand let me off it now limit 20 millibar. close oxygen cylinder so if you want to operate it like we always advise when you are in the ambulance do not depend on the small cylinder attached to these vents but rather depend and the mounted cylinder over here so we we'll fix it so we we'll take it and then we we'll fix it here then we we'll open the cylinder Good. So now we'll be operating from the big cylinder. So let me on. Open oxygen cylinder. So it's already opened over there. Adjust settings so and connect patients. I just adjust and then the oxygen starts flowing. So at the moment, this vent is depending on the mounted oxygen cylinder in the vehicle. So let's start operating in the CPR mode. So for CPR mode, we just CPR click mode on this and then triggered manually. we advise that Perform in the CPR mode now. two rescuers are advisable so it will be counting on the 30 chest compression you will be providing on your patient so you trigger the two rescue breaths with this black knob over here you realize that it has two green lights over here provide two ventilations so, now so I trigger for first rescue breath, it lights again, then a trigger for Before second rescue breath. Then the now. other rescuer 
commence with chest compression for the next 30 chest compression after the 30 chest compression the one controlling the airway will trigger this side for two times to give two rescue breath thank you once again